hope it don't tumble. <laughs> yes, yes, for me, not for you. <laughs> Welcome back. This video addresses the honest perspective of living in Lisbon, Portugal. This time we're not going to focus on the uniqueness of the country, the great people that we met, the rich culture we interacted with, or the unparalleled beauty of architecture you see all around you. Today we're focusing on why we left, and this is going to be tailored for a financial perspective from a foreigner. Even being there for three months, I still feel like there's so much more to explore. The south, or any of the islands in the Atlantic Ocean, so definitely I want to return to this beautiful country. How are the drinks? It's great. Weeder? Yeah. What fruit do they have inside? Fair. They added some oranges. And vodka, right? Yeah. And there's also apple. Weeder. Apple, pear, yeah. vodka. Oh, they added apple. Cheers. With my sparkling water. Sop it October. Yes, for me, not for you. <laughs> I could easily repeat myself and kiss Portugal's ass, but instead of more compliments, we're gonna get into the detail. As they say, the devil is in the detail. That's the stuff. Yeah. Nice. Be real with wide lens. I can see both of you. No, that's not real. Let's start with reason number one, the rampant dog shit. At one point, it became ridiculous, it became a f***ing meme, and I began photographing it, as you can see, and sending them to my friends as good morning messages. They're probably so happy I left Portugal, so they don't have to deal with this every morning. You could not walk down the street in our suburb like a regular person and observe the world. Every day was a shitty battle to avoid stepping in fresh dog shit. In the center and other districts, this seemed to be less of a problem, but it still exists. Every street light has a golden boat or crown to it. And it's not just this street. I'll give you evidence. Are you very impressed with the little fact I gave you? Yeah. Does it? Yes. So let's talk about rent prices. The average minimum salary is just tipping 700 euros, and our rent was 1,000 euros per month. And you know, all the YouTubers on this platform will tell you otherwise. They're gonna insinuate that it's just half the price, but in reality, the cheapest rent price we found was about 800 euros for a semi-decent place, but most were averaging 1,000 to 1,200. If you wanted to live like a regular person, you would pay around 1,500 to 1,800 euros. Apparently, there's been a bill that's passed in Portugal that's gonna lower the rent prices because it's absolutely corrupted, but I don't know what the result of this is gonna be. Rent isn't the only thing that's expensive in Portugal. If you wanna buy food, if you wanna be healthy, or if you want to purchase any product, it's going to be really expensive. In Poland, as you're going to see later, prices are about 20 to 40% cheaper for most products. So let's assume you find a good place and you're not being ripped off. Everything else is fine, right? Well, that brings me to my last point. There's this omnipresent ticket system that exists in every service, such as waiting to pay for electricity, water, or waiting in a health center. In theory, this should make life easier and less disorganized. But in reality, it does the absolute opposite. I remember every single time I went to the hospital or I went to the doctor to get a prescription, pay the bills, I had to wait at least one to two hours. And you know the, the dogs coming and doing, like, they are trying to fuck you. <laughs> and like, fight the leg. And dogs are like that all yeah. the time. Yeah. <laughs> shift the envelope and talk about Warsaw, Poland. It's a very developed and charming city that built itself up after the war. Your money here goes really far, look at this pizza, and uh, rent prices are much cheaper. 
Food is much cheaper. Public transport is, let's say, half the price. You can use Uber and Bolt frequently, even if you're a brokey. If I'm completely honest, it feels safer and cleaner. Colder countries generally have this advantage of smelling less and having less problems due to humidity. And I've only seen dog shit once in two weeks instead of once an hour. Bro, it's sober October. We're gonna buy alcohol. We will buy alcohol. We have to, bro. It's October. Sober October doesn't apply to us, my friend. Yeah, we are top Sparkling G. water and spark, spark, spark. Sparkling, sparkling, sparkling water, water is for rich people. people. That's the waste of the Belarusian. Yeah, the yeah. Belarusian. <laughs> Started his career we're from today. Huh? We're starting with some beers. We're starting what? With wait, some wait, wait. Beers. What happened from one beer? It's two beers, bro. <laughs> bro, this guy. Come man. on. The only water I drink is sparkling water because sparkling water is for rich people. You might think Poland is a poor Soviet country, right? Well, it's totally not. I'll surprise you. Almost every street has dozens of new infrastructure projects, and it exemplifies the perfect urban space which you want to live in. It's secure, it's modern, all amenities like playgrounds, pharmacies, supermarkets are downstairs to your convenience. And you're probably thinking, this is a high density area, look how many apartments, look how many blocks. But in reality, it feels very well organized. If you compare it to like a small apartment in Cyprus with overcrowded parking, this is much better. As you can see, we have a beautiful kitchen here. Super fancy, modern, white, fake bricks. Interesting view. Let me show you my personal bedroom here. Look at that. We have a plant. We have a sofa. A TV. We have a crystal moon ball. What else? Look at this balcony. Got a Ukrainian flag over there. Cool. That's the view. I'm on the top floor. It's a penthouse. I was like, I was just so tipsy too. Hello. It's so beautiful. What's her name? Laura and Noah. It's a golden retriever? Yes. Oh. So it's our last few days here in Lisbon, and I feel like I have to show you guys something good about this place because after you notice and step on the dog shit from the, the curb, you look up and you see all these beautiful golden boats and crowns over the streetlights. There's something to look forward to when you look up to the sky. I pray to God. Please, uh, uh, let me see. So it's basically private storage in yeah, this case. Yeah, private storage. It's not a big, I don't have a keys for that, I believe. Okay. No, actually.